Afrin may no longer be under the YPG's control, but life here is still a daily battle. This woman is pleading for water. And this man says he needs medicine. Every day, thousands of people are queuing for hours at the Turkish Red Crescent's mobile kitchen, desperate for food. My children are hungry and I can't give them what they need. I worry about them. I have five children. The aid group has assured people more help is on the way. How many cooked meals are you giving out each day? Uh, for 15,000 people, 15, people. Uh, twice daily uh, cooked meals. Uh, it means 30,000 cooked meals uh, we are providing daily. Each day, the humanitarian group is trucking 50 tonnes of flour into the Afrin region to make bread and giving out more than 150 tonnes of aid. We are happy and I am grateful. Food parcels are also being delivered to surrounding villages, but there's still not enough to go around. This family of three managed to get just one small meal, which they share between them. Despite these hardships, those who fled Afrin at the height of the fighting have started to return. We were afraid, so I took my children to another village. Two days ago we came back and thankfully my house was safe. When you look around the streets here in Afrin, it's hard to find a building that doesn't have scars from this conflict. The next phase of the rebuilding effort is going to be reopening public infrastructure and services like hospitals and schools. People here say they need that just as badly as they need food. Murphy. Murphy, my darling. There are no schools. My children want to go to class, but there is no one to teach them. Even if they want to write, there are no pens. These children have never known life in Afrin without conflict. Their families hope one day soon they'll have toys to play with instead of discarded bullets. Melinda Nusifora, TRT World, Afrin, Syria.